The entrance of God's word gives light and it brings understanding to the simple. Even as you're about listening to this message by the man of God, we hope that the light of God's word will be shed abroad in your heart. You will know what to do and you will know how to live. And so if you're new to this channel, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this message. Also go to the comment section and comment whatever you have learned. Share this message abroad because we won't always be a blessing to the world. Thank you. I'm not hearing your amen. Every spell they have used to keep them down, every spell they have put on them is broken right now. We speak to the nations. We speak to the nations. Falsehood is collapsing. Deception is collapsing. The spell is broken. The oppression is broken. All the deceptive teachings and manipulations, they are broken. We command minds to be loosed. We command eyes to be opened. We command their ears to hear the gospel. In the name of Jesus. Jesus said, I will take my sheep and bring them to their flock where they shall be fed with knowledge and they shall not fear, they shall not be afraid, they shall not be dismayed. Because that is the will of God, we enforce it. We call it forth. In the name of Jesus. Men that have left church, abandoned the kingdom of God because of deceptive teachings, the prodigals are coming home. The prodigals are coming home. The prodigals are coming home. The truth of the gospel is preached from mountain to the valley, from continent to continent, from nation to nation. And we declare in churches where people are locked down with deception, this truth will find its way in there. Those that are hungry for truth, they will come out. Those that are hungry for truth, they will encounter the teaching of God's word. In the name of Jesus, God will have all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. We declare it so in the name of Jesus. I didn't hear that amen at all. This is the day of Jesus. Tell somebody that three times. This is the day of Jesus. Two. Three. I didn't hear powerful glory. Glory to God. In fact, there's even a third one in London, another church we went to. Me and Pastor Chris and Ainka were in that particular meeting. What do you remember now? After the service, the pastor came to the office and said to me, These my members are very foolish. He said, These my members are very foolish. They think they are wise, but they are foolish. I was shocked for a man of God to call his members of his church foolish. Pastor Nainka looked at me. We were all shocked. He said, They are foolish. Every time I ask them to give me money, they refuse to give me. I'll bring a prophet. I'll bring a prophet. And he will prophesy the money out of their pocket. They think they are smart. <laughs> Pastor Chris looked at me. I looked at Pastor Chris. <laughs> he told him, okay, please, get the car to take us to the hotel. <laughs> Two of us decided, that church, we will never come back. Never. And I was told that church has closed. The foolish members have dismissed the foolish pastor. <laughs> Nobody owns the church. Jesus owns the church. Every pastor is a steward. Every pastor is a steward. He is holding the church on behalf of Jesus. And if you are not a faithful steward, the owner of the house knows how to take his house back. Don't forget, he purchased it with his own blood. Don't forget that. <laughs> Drama is going to happen. Oh. It has already started. <laughs> it's going to happen big time. Pastors will know that they don't own the church. Pastors will know that Jesus owns his church. I will build my church. And he has built it. Out of the rubble, the church is rising. Out of the cacophony of noise, there's a remnant, there's a people of God who are hungry for Christ. They are rising out of the ashes. I didn't hear that amen at all. I didn't hear that amen at all. You see, born again people made caricature of in, in the name of deliverance. They kill believers up and keep them bound in endless drama. Sometimes it's just plain superstition. Say with me, I'm in heaven right now. 
Say, I'm what God says I am. What an agony for a man to be in a place and still be trying to get there. Imagine what people have gone through when they, when they conducted deliverance for them. Some people, all they needed was business counseling. Some people, all they needed was to see a doctor. Some people, all they needed was just to watch a movie and relax. Just watch a movie, relax. Some people, all they needed was just some money. Some people, all they needed was just a little affection. Some people, all they needed was just common sense. Some, all they needed was to read newspaper. Often. But they subjected them to deliverance. Tortured their lives. And made them not even want to hear the name of God. Everything they turned into an attack. is an attack. How will you carry over four times? How will you carry forward four times? It's an attack. That's not true. Because when you were supposed to read, you went for a divine emergency exam success all night prayer. <laughs> emergency divine success all night prayer. And from all night prayer with eyes like a midnight witch, you went for the exam. Half of your brain was asleep. And you were writing nonsense. How will you know? If you carry forward, it is the mercy of God. You should be expelled. <laughs> when you don't read, you now say it's an attack. An attack. <laughs> it's an attack. <laughs> Not attack. It's an attack. Attack. <laughs> so you hear crazy testimonies in the church. Crazy testimonies. Somebody said he went for exams. He didn't know what to answer. Then an angel appeared and said, Go out. I'll write the exam for you. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is a testimony they gave in a church. Another one said, <laughs> when I read the exam question paper, I didn't know any, any of the questions. Says, and then I said, Lord, take control. <laughs> it's as he was saying, Lord, take control. That's all he kept saying until he handed over the paper. And he got 77%. When people lie in public, you just wonder. Imagine what people go, have gone through carrying handkerchief all over the place. See the ones that wear reflective jacket. No matter how handsome they look, they look like Satan's representatives <laughs> carrying jackets all over the place. Constant day and night. Why are you laughing? Jackets that are supposed to be used in official quarters for a few minutes, for short moments. They wear it day and night. <laughs> in London, I hear they come to Africa to carry sand. They carry sand to London for prayer. Sand from the village. I say, eh? they say plenty that is all over the place. I say, ah, you left Africa and came to London. And you are more stupid than those in Africa. You travel to carry sand. So the man of God I want to pray for, he doesn't have power. You have to bring sand. The guy says, speak the word only. That is if there's even a need for that sand. So the word you're speaking cannot go there. They have to go and bring the sand. Religious slavery. Bondage. Coconut. And somebody said, but they get results. Of course. The truth of the matter is they get results. But they are not better than those that went to wizards. Native doctors. It's the same thing now. Native doctors get results. Every result people get using oil or jars is the same. Did you get that? Every result people get using oil or jars. Result is result now. 
God never told us in his word to call oil his spirit. Anyone who calls bottle of oil Holy Ghost is in idol worship. Having result is absolute trash. Any result that does not lead you to the revelation of Jesus is idol worship. Any result that does not lead you to the revelation of Jesus is idol worship. There are some results you get, you become more fearful and more superstitious. Moses walked miracles for 40 years, yet there was no faith. No faith in Christ. Every time Jesus did miracles in the four gospels, they saw the goodness of God. They saw the grace of God. Nobody is in bondage. Nobody wants to sow and tap into Jesus' ministry. The reason why many people do not walk in the things of the Spirit is because they have not come to that place where they realize the goodness of God. Don't you ever say the Spirit is in you? It's not in a bottle. It's not in a handkerchief. It's not in a building somewhere. And it's not in the man of God alone. It's in you also. Tell your neighbor, and it is the same Spirit. Tell your neighbor, you don't have an inferior Holy Ghost. The same Holy Ghost in the man of God is the same Holy Ghost in you. Amen. I said amen. There's a doctrine that puts the spirit in a song, the spirit in a man of God, the spirit in a building minus in the person. False teaching. Or the spirit will be in a pool of Bethesda where you pay money to enter. It deprives you of your own walk in the spirit. We are so grateful for having you here on our platform. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you are new here. And also like this message for us. Do well to comment in the comment section because we want to know what you learned and where you're watching us from. Thank you, message community.